We had a little bit of snow out here today. Only up to the center of the hubs. There we go. There's the valley. So uh, we're gaining about four minutes of daylight a day. So we're out here at our normal time. It's just uh, a little brighter. So got some rabbit tracks here. Down there we have a, a martin tube down there on that tree. We're going to be pulling that one today and taking it down the valley. Moving a bunch of wolf stuff. And uh, today's going to be a long day. We'll be getting back here sometime after dark. But uh, see you all out on the line. I don't have an eco either. <laughs> <laughs> You're not running an eco mode today? No. Uh, yeah, this is the third or fourth Martin tube. We've pulled a couple. Uh, it's rough going today. Um, lots of snow. The snow's re <laughs> the snow is raising hell. It's gonna be a long day, that's for sure. All right, on to the next one. <laughs> Flat light's not helping either. Adding a little lure to the trail there. Section of the trail you guys haven't seen yet. Sorry. Put you on the mount. guys we're up to one of the snare pens we're walking in uh, both of us are wishing we would have brought our snowshoes um, went from I don't know probably 
16 or 18 inches of snow to uh, almost three feet. So, yeah, a little bit of a workout here. But we're gonna go through, check the snares, see what we got. You can already see a couple of them are empty. Oh, if you can see them up there. No, no foothold. Just snares. Um, yeah, this is our snow machine trail. Or was our snow machine trail. We'll give it a week and then probably come in here and put another trail in. There's another empty snare. And uh, I'll check back into you. Check back in after we get done checking the snares. Well, no wolves. Uh, there's a snare. Bait piles up there. That one got knocked down by something. I'll reset that. That one over there is still good. Uh, all the snares still seem to be fine. Um, yeah, I'll take care of these and we'll get off and running on to the next one. Yep, that's for sure. Anyways, see you down the trail. Well, everybody, there's some caribou migrating through. Uh, looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A little group of ten of them there. So. So right up there guys, we got a uh, little group of about 10 caribou. Um, I may have to give you this footage on my phone, but they're going up the hill. Right there, there we got lots of ermine tracks around our Martin tube. For whatever reason, he had zero interest in the bait in the tube, which is really strange for a weasel. Yeah, there's the caribou right there. Right straight in line. Little gap between these four trees right there. Right up in there. Every outdoor the uh, the essentials right there. I got my hunting fishing license, the TP. I had to condense everything though. I need the other Ziploc bag. Uh, Wolf left me a present right here in the trail. Duck, come up here. So this is apparently a new wolf trail. I gotta dig it up for I had to lock my snow machine up to keep from running it over. But uh I gotta dig it out from underneath my snow machine. Yeah. Yeah. My messy tote. Thermos, jet boils, bag with a game call, new trail camera because the other one's not doing its stuff right, MSR gas, extra gloves, rope, come alongs, hatchet, uh, food, water, yeah, pretty, much, pretty much everything we need in case shit goes south for a day or two. <laughs> All right. Right oh there. yeah, big old steamy. Well, it's not steamy, but. <laughs> Here we go. It'll do good with our next wolf set. You know, that's not in this generalized area. Oh. 
<laughs> Throw this on our next fo foothold. It's gonna be a couple miles up the trail as far as the bird flies. Probably about four. Anyway, we're going up to the top of that hill. So I went about another 300 feet up the trail. There's wolf number two, wolf number three, number four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, inside the toad on the back of my sled, so. Yeah, we're gonna gather not all of that, but a bunch of that. And uh, it actually looks like there might be some discoloration in this one, which would indicate a female in heat. So, yeah, that's the one I'm gonna concentrate on. And uh, we'll definitely relocate that to another part of the line. When you cover 30 miles, you get across multiple packs. So, yeah, all right in my trail. Here we go. So, we just caught a Martin here, one of the little bait thieves. Got him propped right there in the tree for now. Tuck carries all that stuff in his sled. I carry all the bait, traps, and lure in mine. Um, but yeah, so our Kana bears are all uh, actually 150 bridgers. They're a little bigger. They fit inside the 8-inch tubes a lot better. Um, yeah. Anyway, we're off to the next one. Martin number one on the day. Right here, these are all wolf tracks. You can kind of see the definition on that one. That's a big wolf. It's a big wolf. Uh, my glove to their paw print is pretty close to the same. And I wear a 2X glove. Um, I've counted 12 piles where they use the bathroom in about a 400 yard span there was 12 so that tells me the pack is at least 12 strong but they're all heading up there where we've got multiple footholds and multiple snares so hopefully we got one we'll see only time will tell as tuck stares off into the middle of nowhere So, I don't know what I did wrong here. Wolves came up, stepped on the trap. It did not fire. Uh, you can see, this is all their trails here. Um, there was a gaggle of ravens over there. We got several snares here. I'm going to check. See, I'm not seeing any fur at the moment. But uh, that don't mean nothing. So there's one foothold. The other foothold still over there. This is the bait pile I showed you last week. Um, yeah. So I actually have to pull this trap. Because um, that right there is the Yukon Quest Trail. So. And that dog sled race starts... Uh, end of next week so I'm just gonna pull this trap for today and then after that dog sled race uh, we'll come back out and reset this bait pile we got here there's just too many wolves too many wolves here not to try to get them for the rest of the year we have till the end of April in this particular location so Maybe one of our snares produced. We'll see. 32 gigs. There's only one guy here four. <laughs> so.
So they stepped on that trap too, but it had so much snowpack in around it, it didn't stand a chance. So, yeah, is is what it is. Um, there's a snare, there's a snare, there's a snare. Those are all empty. I see another snare up there that's empty. Uh, that snare's line, this hillside all the way down and around so we'll see we'll see what happens but i can see where they went up the hill right there or at least part of them went up the hill right there or came down so we'll see maybe i connected with one but these guys were here sometime yesterday last night last night at the absolute latest but just too much snow the snowstorm, snowstorm put the kibosh to me catching any of these wolves, but they stepped directly on both these traps. I guess that's just how it goes some days. All right, off to the next one. So, I don't know if you guys can see that back there. I'll walk in, so it's all wolf right here. Right up in there, we got a wolf killed caribou. And there's still a lot of it left, so. We're gonna set uh, multiple footholds in this area. I think we've got one, two, we did four yesterday. We set up three Duke 850 Pros, so we're gonna give them a try. And I've got uh, three Coro wolf traps. So, I don't think we're going to set uh, six footholds up in there, but we're definitely going to do a couple. And uh, I'll get you a little closer to the, I'll get you a little closer to it when uh, when we get up in there and see what all we got going on. But uh, definitely a wolf killed caribou. Looks like it's only about half eaten. There's the wolf kill. See how much of it they ate and drug part of it over there. They'll be back. So, uh, there's one of my coros right there. Um, I'm gonna put that over there in those trees. Tuck put a 850 up there. We got some mess going on there these guys had a heyday here for a couple hours and uh i think we actually ran them out of here so i think they're still in the valley waiting for us to leave so we'll uh set this get this set there's too many birds i don't want to put any snares not enough heavy trees so i don't want to put any snares up and then have the birds turn around and do this to a wolf so, yeah, here we are, here we are, well guys, a little wolverine or lynx set here, and tie a little bit of ribbon off over here to these willows, got a, uh, what was that? Number four jump in there, and number four jump anchored with uh, eighth inch cable on a swivel, on two swivels actually. But uh, we're down here on the creek. So one of our multiple sketchy ice crossings here. Oh, that one's not nearly as good as what the last one was, but yeah, we got open, open flowing water right there. So, nice thing is it's only about four inches deep as we found out at the last crossing that we powered across. So, not too, not too bad, but we got Wolverine tracks cross up over there. We set uh, some Wolverine sets around the corner because he was on the trail back there too. So, I'm not going to set any up in there because uh, it's only about 300 yards to the last one we set. This is the creek. 
So the GoPro's having fits today. But there's about 400 yards of uh, water crossing. There was, it goes down around the corner and down onto that last straightaway. And uh, Tuck did great for being a rookie. <laughs> and that's why we try to keep everything inside sealed coats. Because uh, ice, lots of ice. Lunch, top of the mountain, well, not quite top of the mountain, close enough. Uh, we're going to start dropping down after this. Don't see any caribou up here today. Um, it was windy, as windy could be over the course of the last week. Uh, major snow drifts busting through. Yeah, you guys get to see my ugly mug right now. Uh, lunchtime. It's top ramen. Um, it's about 10 above. Nicer than it's been up here in a long, long time. We had lots of wind over the course of the week to go along with the snow that we've been fighting. The GoPro died, so you guys are getting what's left of this video on my phone. And if anybody has an answer on keeping the GoPro batteries from dying at 30%, because it says it's dead, but I have 30% battery left. And it's hard to get extra batteries in Alaska. They don't like to ship them. So I'll turn around. I'll show you the view that we got going on for the day for lunch. And, uh, yeah. It's overcast. It's uh, beautiful. Flat light. It's hard riding. Beating the guy up today. No caribou in sight right now. So there we go. This is. This is the top for now. Yeah, next year, next year, the top will be out there. But for now, this is the top. So, we hit some overflow on the way to this point. We've got some Martin tubes we're going to set. I'm going to drop three Martin tubes and uh, be on our way. There's Tuck in all his glory. <laughs> no caribou today. Not up here. Yep, not up here. No caribou up here today. There will be there is caribou that you will see by this point of the video. One Martin today. Lots of overflow. That's a wrap. Nine o'clock at night. Uh, Fifteen hour day. And I'm still not home yet. So. Alright. You guys. Peace out. See you on the next one.